all the stars and planets have been assigned alphanumeric names in modern astronomy. In Jyotisha, in the Upanishads itself, each of these stars of the Kritika constellation have been given individual names. Om Amba Yeswaha Dula Yeswaha Nitan Yeswaha Brayan Yeswaha Meghayan Yeswaha Barshayan Yeswaha Chupunika Yeswaha Om This means these individual stars have been observed, recorded and assigned names over 5000 years back itself. All these stars have been given feminine names. This could not have been randomly done or given the name of the discoverer's wife or daughters. What could be the reason for giving feminine names to the stars of Kritika? We all know that stars go through three stages in their life. Birth, infancy, followed by a fertile stage where they can give birth to their own solar systems and then they finally end up either as a spectacular supernova or a black hole. Now this Kritika stars, they have been given feminine names. Could it be that these stars are in their fertile stage of life and are capable of giving birth to their own planets and their own solar system? In the Indian legend, Kartikeya, also known as Skanda, is the second son of Shiva. He is called Kartikeya because as a child, he was nurtured by six maidens, Kritikas. Six vestial virgins also appeared in the pre-Christian law of Rome, which has been derided as pagan. Their roles was to tend to the eternal flame, the flame of life. There is a similarity between the two legends. Could they be pinpointing to the same natural phenomena? Could it be related to the life-nurturing capacity of the Kritika nakshatra? Kriti means skin and Kritika means to tear the skin, to remove layer by layer. Could this name be a clue to how the Pleiades constellation was formed or is forming? We see a similarity between the six bestial virgins of Rome and the six Kritika maidens in the Indian legends. Both are six in number. Both attended to the spark of fire, the seed of light. If you really look at it, the ancient civilizations of the world seem to have their legends which talk about the sciences in nature or astral events. They're very similar. There seems to have been knowledge that has been shared across these civilizations perhaps by the knowledge travellers who moved and travelled across these civilizations, and most of them seem to be nature-based. <laughs>